What is up everyone? Today I'm going to make a video talking about exactly how I created a custom teal and orange LUT within Adobe Premiere Pro. And this does not require you to have a third party software or to have to go on the internet to purchase these LUTs. And now I'm going to play footage that I got straight out of the camera and then compare that to footage with the custom LUT applied. By now, I bet you really want to make your footage look like that. Let's get on my computer and I'll show you exactly how I did this. So now we're in Adobe Premiere Pro and I'm going to use this shot as an example for this whole video. And the reason I used it is because it's got a lot of yellows and oranges and it's got green grass. To begin with, the first thing I need to do is create an adjustment layer. So if you come here to the little uh, new item button and click adjustment layer and just click OK, it usually makes the settings for the sequence and you just drag and drop on top of your footage and extend it. We're going to be applying this LUT to the adjustment layer so later on we can export this as a cube file and you can continuously import it to Premiere Pro on all your other footage. So we'll go ahead and go into color and if you click on curves and scroll down you'll find the hue versus hue slider. So this is what we'll be working with mainly. We're just going to be changing the actual colors of everything in this shot and so what I realized is I needed to be able to take these blue colors over here and bump them up so that they're actually teal rather than blue. And then over here in these orange section, we need to, and the orange and green, we need to take both those colors and convert them to orange. So the easiest way I found to do this is by just dragging the entire thing in the cyan, like somewhere in the middle, up one little square. And so that's making all the footage really purple. So that's it's cool, but that's not what we need. So you basically want to drag all this down to probably a block and a half in the red section. And then this entire area right here will have to come back up. Drag all of this down. And you can already see that the entire color aspect of this shot has changed completely. And if I just turn it on and off, this is the original. And that's with the LUT. So honestly, that's about it. That basically changes the entire scene, the entire like feel of this shot. And usually I would go a little bit more and play with the hue versus saturation. So I take specific colors like the orange and I kind of like to boost those orange colors and make it a little bit more saturated. Sometimes I like to play with the teal because the teal never gets enough saturation. And I just like to boost those colors a little bit as well. You can play around with this. That's what the nice thing is about this is it's completely custom and it's completely up to you of how you want this footage to look. So I'm going to put together a little edit with the specific LUT that I just created and I'm going to paste it across all the shots and you'll see exactly the difference, the before and after of all these shots. So after you've created your LUT, you can actually go ahead and save this as a .cube file, which is the Premiere Pro version of an actual LUT. So to do that, you go to Lumetri Color and click on the three little lines and click export.cube. And so you can just save it wherever you want. And I'm going to save it in a folder that I've already made before right here. Teal and orange two save and now after you've got that saved you can actually go ahead and go into the creative tab and on these looks these are where all the LUTs are you can click on none and just browse and so if you click on browse you find your folder where you put that custom LUT number two and just click open and it's going to apply it immediately to your footage also one more thing is if you want to import it into this little section so it's always here. If you actually go into Adobe Premiere Pro into the software folder you will find Lumetri and then you can go to LUTs, uh, Creative, 
And these are all the .cube files that I have. And all you would have to do is take that .cube file that you created and just drag it into this folder. And you'll have to restart the program. And it will show up it will show up on this entire list so you can have access to it without opening any files. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and if you guys did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel because I'm going to be making a lot more videos like this. So one, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and stay tuned.